So I've been messing with the AI assistance with ChatGPT and other tools in the crypto space that are piggybacking off of them. And I have to say that I'm going to actually probably get a new phone. The reason being is I think that you should not use your phone or give your phone number out to anyone that has your bank attached to it. The reason being is there's spoofing that's been around forever. There is also the whole thing of AI voice cloning that sounds just like you. And now the tone and everything is getting really good. And what do I mean by that? <clears throat> Let's just pull up ChatGPT and talk to ChatGPT in real time. And I'll tell you what I mean, because this could definitely be um, used against you. And so I'm actually, if anyone wants to make a recommendation for phones like that you just store bank account information on and you never use, um, or if there's any partnerships for phone companies that want to sponsor the channel and I will promote the crap out of it, um, then I am all for it. But um, let me pull up ChatGPT and tell you what I mean. So it's connecting right now. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Anything exciting happening today? Um, no, not too much. Uh, my daughter is asleep, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet. That sounds peaceful. How old is your daughter? Um, can you be a little bit more quiet? Well, I guess that didn't work. Sorry, I'm having issues right now. Our systems are experiencing heavy load. Please try. So there you go, heavy load. But that's not besides the point. I've seen in some of the videos on uh, YouTube through ChatGPT and how quickly it responds. I'm guessing with the, with the paid version, I have a paid version, but they rolled out the free version to get people talking. And that's what people are doing. They're testing it, trying it, giving it more data. And then obviously as it improves, they'll paywall it. And so I'm gonna actually, I use one of these chat services and I use, I called my, with my phone. And you use your phone and you can talk to it. And it goes back really good actually. But my phone is now, my phone number is now attached to that and they could have recorded my phone calls which then has my phone number and my voice. And so they can take that and put it, say, through a Love and Labs and a spoofing um, thing, ID spoofer to clone and then get my bank de details. So that's the only, and obviously if they have my phone number, they can do a reverse, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, reverse tracking or whatever it's called. I can't think of the name right now, but this is the, kind of stuff that's going to be crazy that's going to be coming out. I mean, it's already out. So um, banking and all that, it, it needs to be protected. Um, you're like, literally, I think I'm going to, because like all my apps, people can, and I don't know if you've heard of this, but swim swapping. There is swim swap scams where you can, they you literally call, ask, uh, they use your phone number, they use your voice, they call um, your phone company and they swim swap you by hi hijacking your phone number. And then they can download all your apps, they can download your um, uh, authenticator, authenticator, your Google Authenticator and everything that um, is on your phone. And that if you have MetaMask, or any of your crypto wallets on your phone, they can hijack that. So these are things that um, I would be mindful of. So I'm definitely gonna be preparing uh, in the next couple of weeks um, or less, just because, yeah, just because I think that it's a good idea to protect yourself. Um, like I said, if there's a phone company out there, I know a phone company wanted to sponsor me, um, but uh, I didn't really, I didn't hear of them, didn't know about them. 
and if a random crypto company is offering phones, I think they might have some malware or something in there to steal. So I'm not gonna go with that kind of company, but I will go with a major company. Um, and I'm probably just gonna get a new line. Um, so I'll have a new line uh, that I will probably transfer all this shit over to and then um, protect myself. So, and I think you guys should too, um, especially with how everything is coming along with AI and um, just being able to deep fake everything. I think that is um, one, cool, but also very scary because you need to protect your different things. And um, that's about it. But I think biometric and eye scanning is going to be what's going to tell the difference, I think. The reason being is that I don't think AI can copy your retina as detailed as your own eye, um, unless it gets high quality images of your your retina but or fingerprint i mean obviously it can't the quality in your video is not gonna pull up every line and it can't um the indents in your finger anyways it doesn't matter but biometrics are going to be uh, obviously the future um for combating uh deep fakes i think so that's it guys remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one